Atlas. Atlas. Hello. Atlas is sleeping over at Aunt Heather's and Aunt Cassidy's for the first time. Slumber party. <laughs> Cassidy's mowing the lawn. I mowed the front lawn. And we have pizza for dinner. You had like a sweet potato mash, right? <laughs> Just chilling. <laughs> we went for a walk. Do we go for a walk? <laughs> oh my god, that crinkly nose. Atlas, do we go for a morning walk? We got to go. Say woohoo! You had some oatmeal for breakfast? These are pushed on the chair. I think it's so. Anything else today? No, that's it. 461. I was looking at their lemonades. Oh, yeah. You didn't film the whole time you were here. I know. Okay, I'm the worst. Atlas has left us. Fed him lunch. Cassie played outside with him. He napped on me. Then we went to a thrift store. We spent $80. We'll show you the gems. We found some really good stuff. Lots of clothes, which we've been with our initial reason to go there and some other stuff. And then we're driving and I go, didn't you say you wanted to go to Wendy's for like a frost or whatever? Um, I said, didn't you want to go to Wendy's? <laughs> and then Cassie's like, did, did I say that out loud? ago when you could have got like a free frosty for whatever reason and stuff and that's so funny that's literally so funny but i can't wait to show you everything and justify our purchases i feel good about it it stinks it adds up to eight dollars but it's all good stuff yeah the makeup for spending eight dollars we just got these two things for free <laughs> little potty seat a little soccer goal did i need to mention they were on the side of the road yes <laughs> i feel like i just like threw them in Bingo. Cassidy's shirt. <laughs> Got this for Cassidy's brother. Freaking nice Adidas shirt, am I right? Mm -hmm. well, let's just talk about the price. All the stuff at this thrift store, all the clothes are at four dollars. And then depending on the color, it was twenty-five, fifty, or like a dollar on sale. But look at this nice cardigan. Let's put some color in my wardrobe. Did we ever talk about if I went to Walmart for my birthday? I'm not yeah. sure. Because now I got to lay door kind of excited. Is that pocket hanging? Yeah, right here. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Cassidy's cool shirt. Nickelodeon. Retro, baby. She looked so good in it. And she's wearing her white Adidas shoes. It looks so nice. All right, here's for the exciting stuff. <laughs> V-neck number one. V-neck number two. She's all of these in the same colors already. V-neck number three. Ow. V-neck number four. I made out so good. These are like, what do you call it? My staple pieces. And they mm -hmm. fit me perfection. They're from like Kohl's or Walmart or something. Cassie's new joggers. She had a similar pair that she had to get rid of. So perfect. 
Okay, I found this one. I'm pretty proud about it. Ooh. Ah. You understand how cool this is? Like, I just picture back in the day when I was growing up, I wore a miniature size one. This is for Cassie, and she looks so good in it. Cassie found a new pair of work jeans. Saucy flare bottom. <laughs> I like her in flare bottom. A nice work sweatshirt. We don't live here. But we know what this is. We live an hour from there. <laughs> Those are clothes. All right. For some final gems, we got this nice cookie jar. Soup's exciting. Cassidy got a... Uh, you know what this is. <laughs> Cassidy bought the whole series of Pretty Little Liar books that she hopefully will read. Even though, you guys, she doesn't read. <laughs> but they're like brand new. How do you pass that up? But she likes the show, so. Then I got some books. Got some puzzles. Some kids stuff, you know. Soup's exciting. Oh, this is the most exciting part. We can make circle eggs for our, like English muffins. <laughs> So they fit perfectly on like an English muffin or something and don't spread across your whole pan. Sugar, why don't we buy two? More effectively fast. It's going to take I a while. do eggs at once anyways. Not if I'm batch making these for like frozen breakfast. Yeah, but once you, once you get it Oh, done, formed a little bit, you don't need yeah. it the whole time. True, true, true. Still, should have grabbed them all. Ugh. Mr. Morse. Yes, Mr. Lewis. I'm Jim Morse. This fireball. <laughs> This morning, it was 7.50, and Cassie's like, shoot, I was planning to bring my car and get an oil change. So we, like, fly out of bed. She goes there, and I meet her. We have a little iced coffee and hang out while her car gets her oil change. And then we come home, and now, on our own, wanting, after, like, our shopping and stuff, we're, like, going through our clothes and being, like, pretty brutal about getting rid of stuff. Here's like a bag we've been working on for a while. And like I added a bunch of stuff to there this morning. I think she buried my stuff. And um, my stuff's right here. she's got a nice pile. I'm seeing some items I'm a little sad about. <laughs> oh man. All right, I feel pretty impressed. We have this whole bag for Goodwill. We have this stuff to try and like sell it places that take like nicer clothes or something I guess can't tell but it looks nice I guess I even guess <laughs> I don't know you're not impressed at well all. here's the thing okay this isn't my closet so it doesn't matter what I feel about it but if it was my closet all of this would be put away till winter but she keeps it out all season long all these in case she somehow needs to dress up in a sweater in the summer <laughs> And it bothers me so. Because I have room, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, but it, to me, it makes it feel too big. And it's like, these aren't options for that season. So if your closet didn't have that, do you know how big and more visible you'd feel like you can see and touch your summer clothes? But so it works for Cassidy. And so whatever, even whatever, you know, all her own ways. I try not to say anything. It's her closet. But I'm just saying, that's what I would do. Otherwise, every color on the Rainbow of Commerce that she doesn't wear, do I say anything? No. Okay, these are from high school. How do you get rid of okay, them? No, nope, you, you just don't get rid of Converse, man. But I've been wanting to look through there because I just don't change my shoes. It just takes time to realize. I mean, I tell you that all the time, but I'm just not quite ready to do anything about it. Look at all Cassidy's shoes, guys. Oh. I just went through them all. so don't I'm just them. saying. You can't even see them all because they're like hiding, but she's got quite the collection. Yeah, they're all different styles. Yeah, she likes yeah. to change her shoes for like outfits and I don't. I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I like it on her. I just, it's a lot of shoes. It's not that many. Girls have like 20 pair. And probably like way 10. more than that. That is not 10 pairs of shoes. Is, it's like 15. Let's count and you would come back and tell things. us. Okay, days, weeks later. Never updated about how many shoes. Cassidy was like, oh, I have 10, 11, 12, 13. And she was counting ones that were like around the house. But she got rid of a couple, realizing like, oh yeah, I didn't like these. No. And then like, blah, blah, blah. 
then I went through my shoes and we were talking about how I have all these like converse I don't wear and I pulled them out and then we got distracted because I FaceTimed my sister because all the shoes were actually hers that I like took over when she like didn't wear them anymore and then I don't wear them anymore and she's like we can't like get rid of converse and I'm glad she took them because like I couldn't just throw them away you never know when you want a raggedy old pair of colored converse so I like you know got rid of most of mine because I gave them back to my sister who has a thousand pairs of shoes so that helped dwindle a little bit. Um, but we had a really good donate pile. And I can't even remember if we said we brought some of our clothes and stuff to like a, a used clothes place that like buys them. And they got took 13 items for like $40. And we've, whenever we bring stuff to them, it's like, here's $3. And we took like one thing or something. And it's always kind of just like, okay, whatever. You guys are so picky. So we must have had some really great stuff. And yeah, it felt, it felt pretty awesome getting $40. But we have another bag. We're already like finding more things to, to do. So that's awesome. And while we're on the same like topic, yesterday Cassidy just went through her t-shirt drawer and this thing is always packed and then I have to stack a couple on top. And she went through and she was brutal and she was like, some of these are just like raggedy or whatever. And then we're keeping some of hers, like our old like memory high school, whatever, to make like a t-shirt blanket. Um, like I have my mom made right there. And so she like really dwindled it down. We have clean laundry, so it'll fill up a little bit. But I'm so proud because I really hated how full this was. Because I just don't actually need that many, even though they all like have memories.